All right, so for our last distraction, flossing band technique, we are gonna be opening up our adductors. So what we wanna be doing is putting one leg through the band. We're keeping the band at around hip height. I'm putting my mat in a lateral position because I want the band to pull me at somewhat of a 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna take my knee down, the leg that went through the band, that's the closest side to the band's insertion or where the band's connected to. But because the band is pulling at about 90 degrees with me facing forward, I kind of want to face the camera here a little bit and get to that 45 degree angle so the band can really open this hip up. And I want you to be able to see that angle from here so that you can see me hinge into that position. So what I want to do is kind of crawl once I get here to the ground and I want to allow the band to open that hip up in that direction. And by doing so, by coming across, it'll give me a nice big adductor stretch and I'll really open up that hip side and allow me to lean away from the band. So you don't want to necessarily do this completely at 90. And the reason why is because the band will slowly crawl up the leg. Again, you want to do this at a slight 45 degree angle outside of that uh, band's insertion. And you're, you're going to play with a couple positions while you're here to release. You can let that band and let your whole body come all the way back. Then again, you can get back to that light crawl using a good mat so that your knee isn't bothered. Make sure that foot is forward, hand on the knee, opposite hand on the floor, allowing that band to really pull and open that hip, and you can really hinge on over. And you know, to release, you get closer, get that band off that leg. I would stand up, make it easier to switch sides. Now I'm gonna be facing away. So I'm gonna start with the knee down. If the band is connected to my right, I'm gonna face forward. But then I'm gonna start leaning away and rotating at an extra 45 degrees. So the band is pulling again back and toward that direction, toward the wall. I can lean on that side, allowing the band to really open up my hip. If you want to drop an elbow, you feel like you can get that far to the floor, fantastic. If you want to get a deeper stretch in your back, a little bit of hip, but mainly that adductor. There's a great way to be able to open up the hips. And it's really nice to be able to have something pull in one direction while you're trying to move into another to really open up those hips and release those adductors.